Finally, I finally found the guts to review another Ingmar Bergman movie. Because, I mean, let's face it, Ingmar Bergman is definitely, considering the whole spectrum of film history, he's definitely one of the greatest visual filmmakers. He really goes for this, you know, aesthetic of pure visual filmmaking. Very much so just pure filmmaking, because film, films, are... Well, film is, film is a visual medium. You show, don't tell. Everything can be explained through visuals. It's just that dialogue kind of helps the thing go along. But with Bergman, dialogue more seems more of a vague term in his movies. It feels more like a tool. It feels more like something that, that could, you could just make. It's something that he uses to make the film have some more meaning or something that we can actually that helps the viewer to analyze and understand what's going on most of what he wants to say exists within the visuals that's why he's such a master that's why he's one of the greatest filmmakers of all time and that is why i kind of fear watching any of his movies because they are so hard to understand i mean Let's talk about some of his other films, like The Seventh Seal. Yeah, it's about man kind of confronting God. It's about death. I get it, but what is it really about? What is it specifically about? You can ne I still don't get it. I've seen the film three times. It's still hard to understand, and I know I'll see it again and again because it's fascinating. It's beautiful beyond belief. And that's one of the greatest things about Bergman movies. They're, they have this really deep meaning behind all of them. You don't really understand them at first watch, but he made these movies so beautifully and so interestingly and so, you know, um, just visually, visually, um, mm, it just looks good. It looks really good. It's just really good filmmaking. It's visually stunning. It really makes you think how you can use your camera to make these kinds of movies. They're just breathtaking movies, and you just watch them because you're kind of fascinated by the whole thing. You know, you come back to it because it's visually stimulating. And, but here's the thing. A lot of people have a hard time connecting personally or being entertained by these films, and I totally understand that. But to me, films aren't supposed to be all, be always entertaining. Sometimes it just is a form of art. And if anything, this film right here, Persona, is probably the closest that Bergman got to making a form of art just with film. This is his masterpiece, at least in my opinion. It's not The Seventh Seal. It's not Wild Strawberries. This is his masterpiece and I'm gonna tell you why you probably all know about the story it's about a nurse named Alma trying to take care of this actress named Elizabeth who suddenly stopped talking all of a sudden she's got some sort of dementia or something and so they go to this little cabin in front of a beach and so and they just that's that so so in order to cure the actress's little problem and basically that's it the actress doesn't talk, but the nurse keeps talking. And slowly they feel like, or at least the nurse feels like, they're emerging into one person. Hence the title. If it's just two people, then the title would be Personas. But it's singular. Persona. So it's obviously about um, two figures kind of emerging into one. Whatever that, that, that means. Um, first of all, the film really is an extremely detailed and emotional breakdown of the characters. Basically, it talks about motherhood, depression, self-worth, self-identity, identity crises. It really talks about and it tries to talk to you about what you are, who you are, what are what is your worth, what do you want in life. It really kind of turns the camera to you. There's this scene where the camera almost kind of turns inward as we as we see the screen but we slowly see the camera as well we see the film burning away we see things that the people on the screen would see if they could see the outside world it's just really imaginative filmmaking that makes us 
that makes us contemplate as a viewer and it becomes more introspective than your you know normal film films um and it talks about it talks really deeply about these strange maybe almost enigmatic issues of life whether it's this strange really twisted idea of motherhood about this hatred for the baby and how this is going to affect you know one's life the idea of wanting to become a mother but not wanting wanting the burden of the child it's just some of the darkest heaviest issues you can ever think of but they do it in such a visual way there are some of these shots are absolutely amazing like you've seen you've probably seen the these shots being parodied on multiple of forms of media the, the famous shot of you know you see the face of the actress but you see the side only the side face of the nurse and you see the nurse kind of it feels within the shot it feels like the nurse is looking at the actress although the actress is actually behind uh no the nurse is actually behind the actress so the actress's face is up close here but then the nurse's face is over here like some of these shots are so simple but they they tell you everything they tell you exactly what the guy uh, berman is trying to do and if anything the film um it really wants you to know that it's supposed to be introspective on both parts. None, there's no black and white villain here. There is a very strange blur between morality here. Because there's this scene where, it's probably the best scene in the whole film, where, you know, the nurse basically confronts the actress, and, they, and the nurse talks about the baby that the actress had. And basically, at first, at first we see... The perspective of the nurse we see the actress we see the actress's face starting to contort she hates this conversation she wants to get away from it and the second the conversation ends the scene starts again and then we see the scene this time from the actress actress's perspective and you see the sheer loathing and hatred and also the strange form of fear that exists within the nurse's face as well this on lesser hands, this would have been a really repetitive and boring and pretentious scene. But with Bergman and with the direction he gave to these actresses, this is one of the most haunting scenes I had ever seen till this day. Um, and it also really knows how to manipulate your emotions. Like there's the scene where the nurse is talking about li this little affair that she had on the beach with a friend of hers you know she they were both lying on the beach naked they start they started to touch each other and then two boys who were probably in their teen years came up to them and they started to have this little orgy on the beach and at first the nurse kind of explains the story in a way where she was pleased by the whole thing but then she keeps talking about how she came back to her husband they were lying on the bed together and it felt terrible then she got pregnant then she got an abortion and they it just goes into this deeper darker side of the story like it knows the Ingmar Berman just knows how to manipulate your emotions and all of this all of this works well because B.B. Anderson and Liv, uh, Liv Ullman's performances are so good it's Liv, B.B. B. Anderson's performance because she's the one who's talking is more raw it's more in your face it's more emotional with Liv Ullman's performance it her performance kind of gives gives this film a sense of mystique a sense of you know strange a sense of the vague vague and yet you know because there's the tangible emotion that B.B. Anderson's giving you it the film still feels tangible enough for you to under, understand or try to understand Actually, quite frankly, I, I don't think I need to talk about this film anymore because if I keep talking about it, I feel like I'm just going to make an hour-long video. There's just so much in here. Of course it's a masterpiece. Go and watch it. You'll probably need to see it more than a few times. I'll need to see it more than a few times, but my God, there's so much in here, and at first glance, it already impressed me. Um, I'll probably see it later this year, considering it's 2016, so yeah. Masterpiece, Persona, fuck Yang Mar Bergman, bye.